Who's that? Well, this is obviously the school theater again, but it's all abandoned, abandoned and graffitied up. Yeah, who's that guy? Oh. Well, once again, sitting in the chair on the stage. Oh boy, now I'm, uh, I'm transparent. Alright. Hey, a mattress! Time for a nap. No, oh goodness. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to follow the follow the um, that guy? You go out here. Oh no, nope. cannot click on the doors. Guess I have to go in here. The storage room. Oh, what is this? Hello. Our life would vanish, but not our guilt. Oh. I am you, yet you are not me. It's the sin that makes you linger in this realm. This is obviously talking about, you know, Ray killing herself after, out of guilt, I guess, after, um, betraying everyone. Memories like mirrors reflecting the true likeness of your soul. In a world full of pain and suffering, Fang Rei Shin, what do you fear the most? Losing family, losing my life, losing myself? Well, I feel like for Rei, I mean, it seems like she's probably feels like she's already lost her family, so for her, I guess I'll say losing myself. Believe that we are all born free, eager to walk on your own path, and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Now, this is us. Okay. Um. Ah. Okay, okay. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, come and save here really quick. Yay, feel blessed. Now, I, I'm guessing I'm supposed to, like, trade places and then, then walk out the door because the world is obviously different. Different depending on, um,. I don't know whether you're the the light form or the shadow form, I guess. Oh, whoa, whoa. Now we're back at the main school building, it looks like, and... This is, um... This is, like, what that... Like, how the world looked all distorted and stuff, right? Back at the beginning of the game, before, um... Like, before it made the switch from... Wei's perspective to Ray's perspective. Okay. Can't go upstairs again, but I can go in here. The door is blocked by an unknown force. Or not. Alright, let's just go this way. Oh, can I go out here? Why, yes I can. Oh! That was the... The bonfire of hope is almost depleted, diminishing in the wind. Oh, this, this is the book club. This, yeah, this has got to be the... yeah. Some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. But this material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. I do want to remind you all again to never mention the book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, Miss Yin, is it about the new books? I've already given the list to Mr. Chang. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure something out. The government is enforcing restrictions on all imports. Soon the book club might come to an end.
Missy, and why are things like this? I'm sorry, Way. There's nothing I can do either. Oh, just one more thing before you go. Mr. Chang never brought us any of those books in the first place, right? Ha! Huh, I know I can always count on you. Oh, paper. What's this? Clipping blacklisted to return home for burial? Half a century in exile, blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Miss Yin Sui Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrest and left the country only to be blacklisted. She traveled to the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at age 50, the age of 50. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of the martial law. Alright, so, well, we know what happened to Miss Yin in the end. She didn't die because of Ray's betrayal, but she basically had to live in exile because of it. And meanwhile, it seems like poor Ray here is still just stuck in limbo all these years later. I'm guessing that's what's going on here. What's this? Oh, there, there's the light form again. Hey. The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere and I will follow you like a shadow. Oh. Alrighty. Wow. Okay. Can I go out here? Door handle's broken, I can't get in. Great. Let's go out the other side. Hmm. So I have to... Oh, okay. Um, I think I put... What are you? Staticky ray? The sliding door is wrapped in barbed wire. Oh, that, that's like an apparition of something that happened er earlier in the game. Can't open this door. Okay, but um, yeah, I I have to go off this way, down the stairs, and back whoop, back up again. And then the shadow will be where I need it to be to get across the gap. And uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Oh my goodness, another one. Who can be calling at a time like this? God, that, that's, oh, that's just unnerving. I mean, it's like for a second when I saw the first one, I was like, oh god, it's, it's another spirit that's gonna kill me, but no, it's just a little... Yeah. Okay, so now... Yes! Aha! Remember when you enrolled so full of passion participating in every school activity, showing off your academic abilities, grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you chose grim acceptance to turn a blind eye to escape. To escape. The world is immeasurably vast. There is always a place to hide. You are me. And now we can go out the store. Cool. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. Oh. Oh, they're burning the books. That's way. Remember to thoroughly destroy each book, and add the spirit money to throw them off. There can't be any intact book pages, or else this would be for naught. Hey, Wei. You're closer with Miss Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight, is that true? 
I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. Unlike Miss Yin, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is... Do you know how the reading list got leaked out? Ray? Stop asking questions. I'm as clueless as you. Let's just hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. He never should have trusted her. And what's this on the shrine? A written verdict from the court. Torn piece of the verdict. Cheng, Cheng Minghui, district level educator, is found guilty with students Wei and others of collusion with communist forces. Cheng Minghui is to be put to death after the court's ruling. Okay, yeah, so he he got executed. Wei Chongqing ple pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces. Reading of prohibited texts with rebellious and corrupt thoughts will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. So that's what happened to Wei. He got sentenced to 15 years in jail, jeez. For reading fucking books. Oh, hey. Wait for me! I know I'm supposed to be following you. I think. Did he go up this way? Ah! Oh. It's the bathroom, right? Yes, yes it is. This is... That's a lot of voices for her to, to be in a bathroom. Especially one with only three stalls. Who was this? The door is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. Snitcher. Remove the broom? Yes! I'm guessing Ray was probably... I mean, if it was discovered that, you know, she was the one who got Miss Yin and all the others, uh, caught and everything. I mean, yeah, she, she was probably, um, bullied rel relentlessly for that and Getting all distorted. <laughs> oh, it's a music room again. That's a nice melody. Oh, he's the one playing it. Oh, oh! Another folded up paper. Added a journal, note entry. Excerpt. That time in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred, who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word, because of fear? Remorse? The reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrepit man. I'm starting to think that the guy we're seeing walking around here is like... Okay, so, so we're obviously the ghost. I mean, you know, we're obviously now a ghost trapped in, in limbo. Or spirit trapped in um, purgatory or whatever, and I'm I'm thinking, I mean, with that note, that note has me thinking that, um, the guy we're seeing walking around here is grown up way, because he didn't actually die. Oh. This is an altar for praying, save progress. But hey, I could be wrong. Okay, I guess I was just supposed to save and then <laughs> leave this room. <laughs> oh, and... All right, now for something completely different. Okay, this is where the, um... Ah, hey, another one of you. There's a note on the cart. Yeah, this is where the, the puppet cart thing was there. Oh boy. Oh gosh, <laughs> like gives me a little start every time I like just see the shadow standing there. Oh. 
Light switch. Wait, wait. Okay, so the shadow follows me. Oh, but stops in the light. Am I supposed to get her to follow me all the way? Apparently not. Okay. Alright, so I've turned the light on. Okay, and then we go like this. You stay there, I'm guessing. And... Okay, or maybe do I need to click on her now? Yes, that probably does it. There we go. Oh, another light switch. Now I go talk with you again. Now we carry on. Oh no, no, okay, now we turn off the first light. <laughs> Back and forth. Okay. Then we cl click on her again in the light at the end of the hall. Acting immediately on one's determination, this is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny, live a laid-back life, submit to one's fate? Take hold of your destiny, carpe diem. That is a charming thought. So life has gained a goal. Next to him you found yourself. You are me. Ta-da! Um... Okay. Oh. Door's locked. Great. Back the other way. No matter how many times this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. This... scene... That's it. The banyan tree with the figure underneath. Yep. Instructor by. This is the book list I mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Miss Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. All out of spite. Did you think finding something to re rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Quietly accept, try to take them back, calm indifference. <laughs> try to take them back. Stand up for yourself. The instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You steeled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitiless patriot. Easier than you think, right? You are me. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there he goes. We all remember what happened last time we were up here. We saw the um, apparition or doppelganger jump off the roof. A foreshadowing of what happened to Ray, clearly. And now we are just a ghost, watching him. Okay. Is that the only thing we came up here to see? I guess. So. 
Oh, what is... Oh, paper plane? Yellow to paper plane. From the white deer to my white daffodil, fate holds us apart. So let us meet again in another life, to our freedom. That's grim. Open the door. Cheng Ming Hui, you are, su you are suspected of spreading anti-government propaganda. Smuggling banned books and organizing illegal gatherings. The court has already obtained the necessary evidence. We now arrest you on the grounds of rebellious activities. Do not resist on pain of death. Looks like it will be difficult to escape this time. Fine. Take my head so that I may join my brothers and sisters in death. Sigh. Why? Aren't people born to live freely? To think openly, to speak their minds without restriction or fear. Freedom of belief, love, and self-realization. Being with you was a happiness of the simplest and purest kind. I couldn't help but think... When we could be hand in hand living an untroubled life. But in the end, this is only a fool's dream. I am, I too am vain like the daffodils fixated on my grandiosity. The world is not ready for the likes of us. That almost makes it seem like he could have chosen to flee the country like Miss Yin, but Daffodils died by a river of crimson blood. De decaying rust like into the void. Well, that sounds a little nicer. Oh. This leads to the main city? Who who am I? Am I like in a first person view now? Oh, oh! Now we're controlling him! And I'm guessing now in modern day... Construction signboard. Evidence of vandalism alongside many signs of protest. Notebook. Amnesty certificate. Certificate of amnesty name Wei Chung Ting. Yep, yep, it was Wei. It, th that's who it is. That's who it is. <laughs> Type of pardon. Amnesty. Crime declared invalid. And he's, he's like a middle-aged man now. Gosh. Alright. Thought I would rot in jail. I didn't expect to live past martial law. People say I am a victim of politics. My crime was written off, but my youth is long past. Something lost can never be regained. Letters from home. A yellowed letter. My son Chong Ting. Even though I witness sickness and death on a daily basis, this still fills my heart with grief. Your mother's disease was utterly untreatable. I can only hope she died without worry, without pain. A person's body can be physically locked up, but your mind is always free to go where it pleases. Father hopes you can still get some peace of mind in this situation. Stay warm, stay safe. Your father, Jia Xin. Eventually, mother still passed away. Father didn't take it well and had to take a break from his clinic work. His written words were spirited and calming. They supported me during my darkest days. Written verdict from the court. Okay, yeah, so this is, um, 
we had already found this one. About 15 years of my life were taken away by a piece of paper. I can still clearly remember when the military police came knocking and carried me off in front of my mother. Little did I know that was the last time I would see her face. And the news article about Miss Yin. After being released from jail, I haven't had any contact with Miss Yin. I couldn't believe it at first, but I heard she had passed away abroad due to lung cancer. Like my mother, only after seeing her ashes with my own eyes was I able to realize I had lost a familiar part of my heart forever. And then this is the note that he himself wrote. It doesn't matter what I was feeling back then, only pain and sadness remain. That's sad. So it seems, yeah, we're back at the, pat the um, road leading up to the school. Metal lodging for laborers. Alas, to be demolished, all to be demolished. So it seems like the school is abandoned, and um, obviously, you know, with the, with the state of things, and it's just, uh... Oh, whoa, 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 God. <laughs> Barred from the heavens and hampered from the underworld. Alone and wandering, forever she goes. Just talking about Ray. Pitiful. That's the same old woman I saw, um, the one time I died by the when the puppets came down and grabbed me. Yeah, so it's like he's just this is just way coming back to visit the school before it's demolished. Jeez. That's where the banyan tree was, it got cut down. The large banyan tree has been cut down. It's weathered the storm of generations, yet it fell under the sharp edge of human desire. Again. Oh, well, credits. Jeez. <laughs> this is definitely the end. Time, it rots everything away. Even I cannot hide from it. windows. Um, I guess then credits are just way wandering around the school. <sighs> Don't know if anything else will happen or if we just follow the path that, um, we saw him taking, you know, following him around his raised spirit. <laughs> Random dick butt providing a, a tiny smidge of comic relief. the desk they were sitting at.
and roll credits. Wow. Wow. That, that was that was an awesome game. That was a really awesome game. I I really, really enjoyed playing this. I mean Yeah, like just everything from like the I mean the visuals to the sound, the atmosphere, the story, that was all that was all really it was just two thumbs up. <laughs> um, yeah, jeez. It's funny how it's like definitely the it, with this um in this like last video here, yeah, it like it made this kind of sharp shift from like You know, like frightening, like actual, yeah, real horror. So I mean, just the ending there it was just really sad and bittersweet. Wow. Yeah, oh, wow. So that was Detention. Jeez. Again, awesome, awesome game. Um, I think Red Candle. I think I think they have one other game out that they've done. So I mean, I'll definitely have to check that one out. But um, yeah, I. Aside from that, I definitely hope we see more from them in the future, because, yeah, that was... I really enjoyed playing that. <laughs> anyway, again, that was Detention. Thanks for watching, and until next time, rock on.